for a very long time. This shark was a nobody, in that, well, nobody had ever seen her, nobody had even uttered her name. But recently, that all changed thanks to a global marine mission called the Ocean Census. This team, <coughs> sorry, uh, this team of scientists have been scouring the depths and shallows of the Earth's oceans, looking for never-before-seen creatures like this Scott Lobster, this little sea star, and this the deep sea limpet. In fact, they've just described more than 800 new species. And they're just getting started. The largest initiative of its kind in the marine environment that's ever existed. Ocean Census began back in 2023, when a group of scientists from the UK and Japan teamed up. And since then, it's launched 10 expeditions, using divers, submarines and deep sea robots that can reach depths of up to 4,990 metres. Yeah. There are 24 scientists from, I think it's over a dozen countries, and we split into two 12-hour shifts. And uh, because the remote-operated vehicle can work for 24 hours. You see, no one actually knows that much about what's down here. The Earth's oceans are thought to contain around 80% of life on the planet, but we've only discovered about 10%. What we have found is pretty interesting. Think massive long-legged crabs, invisible fishies, goblin-like sharks, leafy sea dragons, and uh, blobs. And while the search for new ocean life is nothing new, Ocean Census is trying to speed things up. So historically, species discovery it's a tedious, like slow, painstaking, you know, process. Like the average time period between something being collected and described in an academic publication is 13 years. And according to Dr. Taylor, there's a really good reason to hurry up. You see, global warming is having a huge effect on the life down here. Water is really great at absorbing heat, and it's been doing a lot more of it since we started burning fossil fuels our oceans have gradually been getting warmer, more acidic and less oxygenated. There might be already species that we don't know and that are already gone or going extinct. This means we might never know or learn about the creatures we share our planet with. And we could also miss out on their superpowers. Well, sort of. You see, experts speculate that some deep sea creatures could hold life-saving medical properties. But more than that, it would be a loss to planet Earth. Every species that we find is part of the library of the ingenuity of nature. That's why deep sea biodiversity matters and that it's important that we continue to protect it for the future. By 2033, the Ocean Census plans to identify 100,000 new species. So stay tuned for the next blockbuster release in this ongoing underwater saga.